media. Yep. Thank you. Uh, glad we got the win. <clears throat> you know, we uh, had a lot of guys uh, get in the game and play some uh, some reps, so we we felt like we got some good experience for uh, a lot of our guys on the on the team. So uh, obviously, we had some mistakes. Uh, I thought we were able to correct to play clean cleaner in the second half, and um, I appreciate all the effort that our guys showed and the excitement. And the, level of competition that they had. They just they're ready to play and had fun doing it. So uh, thank you to North Alabama for taking the game and sticking with the schedule and and uh, being here, you know, and um, it was it was fun to be on the field with them and um, you know, wish them the best of luck in, in what they're doing in 2021. I, I believe this is their last game. So just thankful that they're able to be here and play here in Provo and um, you know, we're we're looking forward to improving from this game and getting better as we are every week and I uh, just happy we got the win. Looking forward to getting better, though. All right, let's take some questions from Alex Vihar, then Jay Drew, and then Jared Lloyd. Hi, Coach. Um, Alex Vihar with the Salt Lake Tribune. You guys came in um, tied with Clemson um, at plays that went at least 10 yards or more. Um, today, you guys were able to surpass them. What is it about your offense that you kind of try to get some of those big plays? Is it just the personnel or is it kind of scheme that you really like to get those, um, you really like to get your offense in just performing in that way? Yeah, I, I just think, you know, give a lot of credit to our offensive coaches. And I think, I think we're, first, first of all, I think we're playing good team football, um, complimentary football. And, and, and uh, with the mindset of what our team, our coaches and, and our, our philosophy is as a program, you know, we're utilizing the skill that we have and, and, and the strengths and, and trying to make plays and trying to put as many points on the board as we can. And uh, in order to do that, uh, you give a lot of credit to our coaches, our assistant coaches and coordinators for making it happen and developing a scheme that Zach would feel really comfortable with and then complement it with everything that we have with the receivers, tight ends, uh, and, uh, and with the running back. And so I, I think looking at that and seeing our run game, uh, you couldn't accomplish any of that without an O-line and a, a deep O-line. And then the same thing carries over on the defensive side, being able to play uh, you know, solid, starting up in the trenches with the D-line and then uh, going from there. So I give a lot of credit to, to Elisa Tuyaki as our DC and Jeff Grimes as our OC and Ed Lamb as our special teams coordinator. Those guys did an amazing job uh, communicating with the players and utilizing the skill that they have, the strengths that we have to try to play good complimentary football and, and get points on the board. I think you're on mute, Jay. Yeah, Kwani, I know your defense was pretty vanilla. You shuffled in a lot of guys, but uh, not being able to force three and outs until basically late in the game. Um, and you did have some turnovers, but just overall, what was your assessment of the defense today? Yeah, we can improve on a lot of things, you know, and, and we got a lot of bodies in there and we got a lot of reps. Um, I think getting off the field would be really important. I thought we gave up too many first downs, you know, but um, the effort was there. We created some turnovers. And, um, you know, I think that uh, looking at it, we, we have to be better against the pass. But um, when you can stop the run, make teams um, more, uh, you know, having to play one side, not being balanced and disrupting them, I think you're going to be okay. So overall, just happy with the performance. I mean, obviously you want to keep keep – they had some big plays and, and were able to get uh, two scores, two touchdowns on, on the scoreboard. And, we're always going to look at it and try to improve. But I, I was really pleased with some of the things I saw from uh, our players, specifically the young guys. And so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep building on that. We'll, there's always room for improvement. And we, we know there's some on the defensive side. But overall, if we can hold teams to 14 points, and we, we should be pretty good. Kalani, you've talked before about how you enjoy watching the game and being on the sideline. When you see Zach make that sidearm throw or avoid that sack in the in the end zone and, and run for 30 yards, how much fun is that for you as a football observer to see a kid making those types of plays? Yeah, I mean, I, from from every position, I enjoy seeing those guys when it goes well. You know what I mean? And but uh, I I've, I've seen him do that a lot in practice. But I I was always just really pleased with what Zach's doing as a quarterback of our team. And then you see. Uh, the coaching that he's getting from from Aaron Roderick, from A Rod, and 
And then you see the carryover that it has and the effect that it has and some of the things that Baylor's doing when he gets on the field and, and Soljay and Conover and all those guys. So uh, a lot of compliment to our, to our, our compliments to our, our assistant coach and, and, and our, our quarterback's coach in there, A-Rod, you know, and, and being able to collaborate with the players or the co quarterback position and work with, with Grimes. I, I mean, Zach's starting to feel really comfortable out there and, and – but he's he made those th those throws. It's been he's been doing that since he got here. He's just he's got a high level of, uh, of, of IQ in football, and especially that quarterback position. He's starting to feel really comfortable with this uh, with his role, and and you see a lot of those guys get comfortable with, with the experience that they've had the last couple of years. Even Baylor getting in there and having feeling comfortable in the offense, and so there's some guys that are still brand new on offense, defense, and special teams that we're trying to. Get past that uncomfortable, the uncomfortable moment, and let, allow them to play fast. And so, uh, we saw a little bit of that this game, but it's okay. I, I mentioned before that we're going to sacrifice some stats in order to get our guys to to get some valuable experience, which will add to our depth. All right, let's have a question from Jacob Hatch, Mitch Harper, and Max Clark. Kalani, I wanted to ask you. You said at halftime that you didn't expect to see Zach come back out. Was your hope to play Baylor, Sol J, and Conover? How were you kind of divvying out the reps in the second half quarterback-wise? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to see how – to get as many reps as we can with all those guys. But it's it's one of those things where uh, I think, you know, we didn't have a lot of plays on offense. I'm looking at it, we had 59 plays on offense. And so uh, I think they, they – got they you know, looking at North Alabama, they possessed the ball. We're kind of slowing the game down a little bit. They did that with everyone that they played. Uh, so when you're watching them against um, Liberty and against Jacksonville State, and then you see them against uh, uh, Southern Miss, they kind of just took their time, slowed the game down a little bit, and that's why um, Liberty scored 28 points, Jacksonville State scored 24, and, and Southern Miss scored 24. And so we knew that we would have to take advantage of the plays that we had. And uh, when you have 59 um, plays and – 66 points. That's pretty good. That's good efficiency for our offense. And uh, defensively, we I thought we did some really good things, specifically up front, stopping the run. And and uh, you know they they got some some pass plays. Uh, credit to them. They did some really good things in the past game. And it's just something for us to keep learning from. So, Kalani, you guys are the only team in the country right now that's nine and zero at the moment. Uh, where do you guys expect to be in those first playoff rankings coming up on Tuesday? I don't know. I don't even know how that how that works. On Tuesday, all I care about is that we're going to have uh, an opportunity to get better as a team. So that's that's all my focus on. Sorry, you want to ask another question since that was like I just went through it real quick. Real quick. <laughs> how about uh, you mentioned earlier the, some of the young guys that uh, maybe caught your eye? Who who were some of those individuals that you thought uh, showed well in their opportunity to get some snaps in? Well, I think uh, Malik Moore stands out. He he made some plays and. Probably should have had a, another pick, but um, he got you know pushed out of his hands. But I, I think he did some good things. We saw some D linemen get in there and play again. I, it's hard for me to to name guys unless I just I think Malik made a nice pick. But you know um, you saw uh, Kavika played some running back, you know, and and we're still working with Sione. I thought Miles Miles did a great job coming in and running the ball, and um, you know we're looking to get a first down and in that one, and he just popped it into the end zone. So. Um, but really, really pleased with a lot of the things our guys are doing uh, uh, overall. And so I, uh, those are the ones that stand out the most to me. Coach, Isaac Rex had some big shoes to fill in Matt Bushman um, this year, but he has been very consistent, um, consistently dominant week in and week out. What can you say about his progression as a player and his development, um, especially considering the fact that he has a few more years in the two year form? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's kind of at the point now where we know he's a legit guy. But we've been saying that for a while. We, I think, we've been saying that we felt really good with this with the skill, and Dax and 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 Neil and and Gunner. You know, we we knew we were going to be good. It's just a matter of getting out there and letting them make plays. And um, that's, that's a, a lot of confidence that that our quarterback has on a fourth down to throw it up for grabs to our tight end. And uh, Isaac's got great ball skills and he's really big. And so. I uh, like what I've seen from our, our tight end group, like what I've seen from our receiver group and our, our old line. And uh, we, we took a step forward today as a team, getting uh, getting depth and getting valuable experience. All right, we'll take one more question from Jake Bevins. 
Hey coach, um, I just wanted to talk about kind of looking ahead and you've obviously had two week breaks already this season, but this one's kind of unique. Uh, what does this week and maybe even the week after prep look like uh, as you prepare for San Diego State, but with also the potential of maybe Tom scheduling another game mm -hmm. this week or next week? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, there's there's a lot of um, talk from a lot of different people about our, our schedule and everything. I just want to remind everyone that uh, we're the only ones that were committed to playing football in the West in August. So if you're going to assume anything, you should probably assume that we want to get games, you know, and, and Tom's not a hard guy to get a hold of. So I remember when we were our schedule was still rolling, and that's why I'm thankful to North Alabama to sticking to the schedule and, and coming out here and playing us. Um, there was a time where we, our schedule was looking really, really uh, difficult to look at. We, we didn't know what was going on. There was a lot of things in the air, and Tom worked really hard uh, with our administration and the leadership and, and got a schedule together. And, and then so when teams started deciding, conferences decided they wanted to play again, it wasn't really hard for the Mountain West teams in Boise and San Diego State to add us. It, it happened really quickly. And so uh, our schedule's been set for, our, for a while. We've been committed to playing football, and so I just want to remind everyone that that we have been that way from the very beginning. We didn't, we didn't, when things were looking pretty pretty bleak for a lot of teams to play, we stuck with it. Our our our, our leadership and the administration, everybody stuck with it. So, uh, you know, if, if that does happen, then then get get a hold of them because we want to play games as many as possible. I've been really pleased with the way our team. Handled after after you know we've learned a lot from about COVID and about the pandemic and and trying to find ways to, to stay as safe as possible and and uh, just like everybody else we've been dealing with um, with our depth and dealing with guys that are that are tested positive and coaches staff and players and and um, you know we we just like everybody else and so but my main point is just reminding everyone that we were in this from the very beginning. And so if there's a way that we can get more games, then great. But you should probably assume that we want to play more football because that's that's what we committed to doing from the very beginning when nobody else was doing it. That's great. Thanks, Coach. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. Stay safe.